Hey everyone, welcome to the second video for Web Dev FAQ series. In this video, we are going to create the drop down menu you are seeing on the right side of our page. So, let's move to our VS Code. Here, we are going to create a new index.html file. We are going to type shift exclamation mark to create the skeleton of our HTML page. And the first tag we are going to use is nav. Inside the nav, we will have a first element of our nav bar. So, which will be an anchor tag and it will redirect it to nowhere. So, we will keep it hash and it, the text will be home the second element of our nav bar will be a div so this div will have uh, lots of items so in that div the first item will be an anchor tag representing that uh, title which will be drop down and it will uh, point to nowhere so the drop down will have drop down content so this drop down content will be shown when you hover over the drop down anchor tag the first element of our drop down will target to page one dot html which will be a new index.html file so we have to create that here so we'll create the html file we will press shift exclamation mark to get the skeleton and we'll use one h1 tag and this is page one okay so that's it the other two elements will be page two and page three so these anchor tags uh, for now we will not redirect it to any html pages we will just show the text which will be page two and page three uh, to run our app we will need the go live extension so you will go in the extension tab and here search for live server so if you search for live server the first extension that pop ups for retweet day you need to install this one and once installed it will show the go live option on the bottom right corner of your screen this will open your code on your browser which is just a simple nav bar for now which is unstyled to style our nav bar we will create a new file named style.css so here we will write all our css the first thing we will need is a font so we are going to search for font on google and from google fonts we are going to search for enter which is the font name and we are going to select enter and click on get font here you have to click on get embedded code and in the import section copy this import code so you are going to paste this in your style.css once done you can use that font wherever you want in your code for now let's move our output screen and our code editor side by side so we'll close this file section and the first thing we'll style is our entire page body so we will keep zero margin so it should stick to the top and our font family would be enter and the font weight will be 700 for now okay so to put these styles to our html we will use link css is a shortcut to add your style.css file for the nav bar we will set the background color to dark blue we are going to use background color 000 and 17 okay so now we will use flex to align the items in our nav and we will use justify content first baseline so all our items will be uh, initialized from the first and all the items should be centered so now we are going to style the anchor tags so the first thing we will style will be the color which will be white and the text decoration should be none so there should be no underline the padding will be 14 pixel horizontal and 16 pixel vertically once we done with the padding we will uh, also style when we hover our elements the only thing we will change is the background color which will be reverse which will be white and the color will be black so it should look different when we hover and it looks cool before moving on to other styles we need to make some changes in our html file first we will need to add style to a div which will be drop down and then the child con uh, all the child elements will be in another div container and this div container will have a class name of drop down content now we can uh, style this div so let's move to our styles and we will set this div to position absolute so it should be top of other css styles i mean in position it should be on top and there should be eight percent gap between the nav bar and the contents of the drop down we'll set a background color to white 
and we will set a min width of 120 pixels if you want you can increase the width it all depends on you so finally there should be a box shadow if you want a detailed video on box shadow you can put a comment and i will make another html video on how to create drop shadows okay so after drop shadow we will add a z index of just one that should work and finally the display should be block okay so that's it from the div and now let's style its elements the color should be black the padding should be 12 pixel and 16 pixel vertically okay so now let's uh, remove any default decoration using text decoration none and we will add our the text to be on left so we'll take use text on left and the display would be block okay finally let's style when we hover these elements so we are going to use the hover tag and we are going to set the background color to little gray and what we are going to do okay first let's see if it's working as it's working so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, remove this block so we will set a display block to display none so that it is removed and when we only hover the drop down it should be shown so we will select the drop down and we, the hover tag and also for the content so we are going to set the display to block okay so now when we hover it is shown unlike before so that's it from this video i hope this video is helpful to you and drop a like leave a subscribe meet you in your next video till then keep coding